Hey folks, this is a video tutorial on Sweet Pea's August Soul Along. For the August Soul Along, we are making the Welcome Hanger. If you join Sweet Pea's August Soul Along Facebook group, you'll be able to find a 30% discount code for this hanger and all the rules and details on the monthly Soul Along competition. On that note, remember to take photos of your completed projects and post them on that Facebook page to be in the running for some awesome cool prizes and also just to share your love of machine embroidery. In this video tutorial, I will show you one of the stitch out of the letter blocks and also how to construct your hanger. I highly recommend you follow our photograph written instructions in conjunction with this video tutorial. If you find this video helpful in any way, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational and entertainment videos like this one. Enjoy the video. For the first part of this video tutorial, I want to show you the stitch out of one of the letter blocks for your welcome hanger. First, hoop up stabilizer in the hoop. Load the design onto your machine and use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Now place batting one on top of the hoop and stitch it down. Now remove the hoop from your machine and trim the batting about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Then place fabric A right side up on top of the hoop covering the placing line and stitch down. Don't trim fabric A just yet. Next, embroider the flower petals along the top. Embroider the petals for the large flower. Embroider the outline along the petals. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the fabric for the flower center about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Leave the excess fabric in the seams. Repeat the applique process for the flower center using fabric B. Embroider the detail in the flower center. Embroider the satin stitch along the outside of the inner petals. Embroider the inner petals. Embroider the satin stitch along the center of the flower. Repeat the applique process with the letter using a large piece of fabric to cover the placement lines and trim. Embroider the satin stitch around the letter. Carefully remove the embroidered piece from the hoop and trim the seams to about half an inch. Put the block aside until all your blocks are completed. Congratulations, you've completed the O block. In the second part of this video tutorial, I will show you how to join the welcome hanger blocks. First, lay out your hanger blocks in the correct order per your instructions. To begin, take the first two blocks and place them right sides together. Align the edges carefully. Then pin the blocks together along one side, paying special attention to matching up the starting points and aligning the satin stitches and embroidery. Now, move to the sewing machine. 
we're sewing just inside the exterior stitching line created by the embroidery machine. This will hide the stitching on the right sides later. Take your time and maintain perfect alignment between the satin stitches and seams. After stitching the seam, it's time to iron it open. Using an iron, gently press the seam to flatten it and give your blocks a neat appearance. Continue joining the rest of the blocks following the same process as described above. Take care to align the edges and match up the satin stitches and embroidery for a cohesive look. Welcome to the third part of this video tutorial. In this part, I will show you how to attach the flat piping and borders to your welcome hanger. Cut two one and a quarter inch strips fabric C for the flat piping on the sides. Press the strip of flat fabric for the piping in half width ways, ensuring the raw edges sit exactly on each other. Check your length measurement. Then continue to lay the flat piping strip right side up on top of the side edge of the join blocks with the folded edge pointing towards the center of the background fabric. Pin or quill clip together and stitch into place with a quarter inch 6mm seam. Repeat for the other long edge of your hanger. The edges of the flat piping will overlap the ends and trim. Repeat the process for the remaining short ends, fabric D. Now let's get started on part 4 of this video. In this part I will show you how to add borders to your welcome hanger. Cut two strips of border fabric, fabric E, to match the length you just measured. For our project we chose a width of 6.5 cm, 2.5 inches. Additionally cut two pieces of batting 2 to match the border fabric's dimensions. Now it's time to secure the batting to the border fabric. 
Lightly spray a temporary adhesive on the batting and then place your border fabric right side up on the batting. Place the border fabric with the attached batting on top of the hanger. Aligning the edges and making sure the right sides are together. Pin or clip the layers together to keep them in place. Then stitch the layers together using a half inch seam allowance. By pinning and stitching on the wrong side of the hanger, you ensure that your stitching stays inside the border on the front of the hanger, keeping it clean and neat. To reduce any bulk in the seam, trim back the excess batting from the seam allowance. Now gently fold over and press the side borders down neatly with an iron. Optionally, you can top stitch the borders for a neat and flat appearance. Repeat this step for the opposite border. If needed, trim the borders to make them even. Now measure through the middle again, considering the new border width in your measurement. Then cut two strips of border fabric, fabric F, to match this new length. Also cut two pieces of batting three to match the dimensions of the new border fabric. As before, use the temporary adhesive spray method to attach the batting to the border fabric. Place the border fabric with the attached batting on top of the hanger. Aligning the edges and making sure the right sides are together. Pin or clip the layers in place and stitch a half inch seam from the edge. Now trim back the excess batting from the seam allowance just as you did before. Repeat the folding and ironing process for the end borders, ensuring a neat and well pressed appearance. Optionally, you can choose to top stitch the end borders for a tidy and flat finish. If needed, trim the borders to make them even.
For the final two sections of this video tutorial, I will show you how to add the loops for hanging and how to cut the backing and finish off your beautiful welcome hanger. First, I will show you how to add the loops for hanging. To attach the backing, place fabric H backing on your table, right sides facing up. Lay your sewn hanger on top of fabric H, ensuring the right sides are together. Pin the two layers in place. leaving an opening of about 6 inches, 15 centimeters for turning later. Then stitch the edges with a quarter inch, 6 millimeter seam allowance. Remembering to leave the opening for turning. Trim the seams to a quarter inch, 6 millimeters, and half an inch, 12.5 millimeters at the opening. This trimming makes it easier to hand stitch the opening close later. If you prefer more pointed corners, clip the corners diagonally before turning the hanger right side out. Then carefully turn the hanger right side out through the opening. To achieve crisp corners, you can use a tool like that pink thing or chopstick to gently push out the corners. Once the hanger is turned, give it a final press.
Now hand stitch or use fabric glue the opening closed. Finally, stitch in the ditch. Stitching in the ditch is an invisible finish on the front that helps your hanger lay flat. And the stitching lines are only visible on the back side of the runner. Ensure that the bobbin thread on the underside of the quill matches the backing fabric. And the top thread on the top of the quill is an invisible thread or thread color to match the fabric in the seam. Then give it a final press and you're done. Congratulations. Congratulations on completing your sweepy welcome hanger. Your hard work and attention to detail has truly paid off, resulting in a stunning embroidery project that will add a warm and welcoming touch to your home. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more inspiring tutorials and creative projects. If you're interested in exploring more delightful designs, visit our website at sweepy.com. Happy crafting, and until next time, stay inspired and keep sewing.